So John Jones versus Stipe Miocic might fall out because of John Jones and just who the type of person John Jones is, but Tom Aspinall is supposedly the backup for that fight. Now, I'm here to tell you that I wouldn't get too excited for the potential of John Jones versus Tom Aspinall because of just the history surrounding John Jones, but we're going to talk about that today, and as always, I'd love to know what you think about it down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. I think I said that a little bit too fast, but anyways, guys. Let's talk about John Jones. So, I'm one of those guys with John Jones, kind of like how I am with Hamzad Shemaev. He's very exciting to watch. I'll get super, super hyped up for the fight. But when it comes to John Jones, when it comes to Hamzad Shemaev, when it comes to a couple particular fighters in the UFC, I will not believe that they are in the octagon until I actually see them walk inside that octagon. Even during the walkout, I don't know if something wild's going to happen. We never know. Even after weigh ins, I don't care. Until I see them at that UFC pay per view. I will not believe that that fight is taking place. So, something that's realistic to happen for John Jones, and we've seen it happen so many times in his career, is for something to happen and John Jones to fall out. But that, <laughs> that's a little bit besides the point. Kind of still same to the point, but you kind of get what I'm saying over here. So, John Jones has not always wanted to make that walk. That's kind of the point that I am alluding to here. He's always wanted to game plan for his opponents. And to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with not wanting to take on short notice opponents. I know John Jones has got a lot of flack over the years for not wanting to take on Shale Sonnen and canceling an entire pay-per-view. I understand where John Jones is coming from, and is he ultimately wrong for that? No, he planned for something and he was supposed to he was supposed to fight a particular opponent. That didn't happen. Why should he risk his health? I get that. I still think he should have taken the fights, save the day, save the pay-per-view, make your money, but again, very little judgment from me on that end. If this fight with Stipe Miocic falls out, which is very, very possible because, first of all, you have Stipe Miocic who is completely, like, mentally, seemingly checked out of the game, wants to be a firefighter. He's over 40 years old right now. Him being over 40, by the way, is also bringing up the likelihood of Stipe Miocic actually getting an injury. Stipe Miocic hasn't made a weight cut in a very long time. What if he gets ill from that? There are external factors at play that kind of get an increased level of probability as, Stipe Mio as somebody ages, that being Stipe Miocic. So... The idea of this fight falling out is possible for me. For me personally, and I would imagine a lot of you would feel the same way. So, if that happens, Tom Aspinall would be the replacement fight, and then John Jones would fight Tom Aspinall. I'm here to tell you, I wouldn't get excited for that possibility. If this fight falls out, I'm thinking that we have the entire main event canceled, and then we have the co-main event brought up. But hey, you know what? At least if it does fall out, we still have a banger of a main event, that being Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler. Again, we want to talk. I want to talk about that fight a little bit down the road, but... Not for this video. My point being, out of everything that John Jones has been saying on Twitter, out of the way that John Jones has carried himself throughout his career, first of all, I don't believe that John Jones is scared of anybody. I know a lot of people are saying, yeah, you know what, he's ducking Tom Aspinall. That's extremely true. But the fact that John Jones would go running cowardly and scared from Tom Aspinall, I think is a little bit ridiculous because take a look at all the opponents that John Jones has faced in his career. I don't believe he's scared of anybody. I believe that John Jones believes that he could beat anybody in the entire world, and I do believe, honestly, John Jones might be able to beat anybody in the entire world. He just does it safely. He wants to prepare for his opponent. He wants to game plan. He doesn't want anybody just coming in on short notice and kind of, like, scratching out the routine. Again, I kind of understand that, but if this falls out, unless it's, like, even if it's signed on paper, man, I was about to say, like, even if it's signed down on the dotted line, like, hey, if this happens, you're fighting Tom Aspinall, I still don't believe John Jones will do it. He'll figure out something, or he'll just straight up back out of it, I don't believe it. He doesn't want to take on short notice opponents ever. He wants to fight his particular opponent. He wants the easy fight being Stipe Miocic. Why would, out of anything that you've seen from John Jones in his entire history, would why would that make you think that he would take on Tom Aspinall if this is short notice? John, I wouldn't even shock me if like, okay, well, Stipe Miocic pulls out. John Jones versus Tom Aspinall gets announced. Oh no, John Jones just got into a car crash. <laughs> like... John Jones, I would imagine, would do anything to cancel this, even if he's, like, legally obligated to step in there towards Tom Aspinall. I don't care. Something's going to happen where this this isn't, this isn't fight is not going to take place. He doesn't want to give Tom a shot. He wants to retire and ride off into the sunset. And honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if the UFC was part of this, Dana White being part of this, because why, like, they might be able to, they might be wanting to push Tom Aspinall. He is a guy that they could push, right? But they'll push him after John Jones takes off, because then... They could have the greatest fighter in history, and they could forever say that. I still think, I still believe that conspiracy theory to be true. That's what the UFC wants. That's what John Jones wants because the UFC and John Jones haven't always been buddy buddy. You know, when Dana White's sitting in these press conferences just glazing John Jones, and he's like, 
Oh, well, it's not like Jones and I are two people that get along. Like, John, like John Jones and I have had some problems. Like, he always goes in and says that type of stuff, which, to be honest with you, it's true. I think the UFC has some incentive to keep John Jones undefeated. I think that he's going to look good against Stephen Miocic and then right off into the sunset, and then they're going to usher in the Tom Aspinall, the Tom Aspinall heavyweight champion of the world title reign. That's what I think they're going to do, and they're going to build him up, and... John Jones will forever be remembered as the guy who was ducking Tom Aspinall within the hardcore MMA fan base, but it doesn't really matter because the casuals will just know John Jones is the undefeated guy. Like, people don't even look at John Jones and say, hey, he has one loss on his career. Which, I mean, he, he kind of does, but kind of doesn't. I understand what they're saying. But my point being, no matter what happens with this fight, first of all, I'm not believing that John Jones versus Stephen Miocic is happening until John Jones steps in there. If he pulls out and we get the matchup with Tom Aspinall, don't don't get excited for that fight either, because obviously if that were to happen, then everybody would be going absolutely insane. Everybody would be going crazy that John Jones is actually fighting Tom Aspinall. Something's going to happen. It's never going to take place. I wholeheartedly believe that. And if you guys think differently, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. Check out this video if you want to continue on the topic where we talk about John Jones ducking Tom Aspinall on some Twitter drama. I'd love to have you over there, guys. Take care, everybody.